Hey, this is Kevin. You're watching Wingsound.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the crossfader in Ableton to help with your DJ sets. So check it out. Uh, it works just like a DJ fader. Um, it's located right down here under the master track. Um, if you don't see it, select this little X button here and it'll come up or go to the view pull down menu and you'll see a crossfader option. Um, and you have some track assignment options under each track. Um, basically it works just like uh, if you were DJing with turntables you have your A and B deck. Um, so you could assign it to A or B or you don't have to assign that at all like I've done here. So I got some uh, dubstep uh, loops here. I got a, a drum one. Here let's just listen to them here. I got a percussion track which I didn't assign to either one so listen for that throughout the whole mix and on my B deck I got two other drum and bass tracks Okay, so uh, if you bring the crossfader all the way to the left, it will dedicate itself to the A deck or anything that's not assigned. So let's hear that. Alright, so that's it for the crossfader tool. As you can see, uh, track 3, the percussion track, because it wasn't assigned, played throughout uh, wherever, regardless of where the crossfader was. Uh, if you want to assign the crossfader, if you have a MIDI controller with a crossfader or any, any knob on it, uh, hit Command to M and uh, select the crossfader itself, and that can be assigned as well. That's the Ableton Crossfader, and uh, it's a pretty useful tool, so I hope you enjoy it. Check out Kevin's new series of videos, including these titles featuring Ableton Live, available on demand at wigsound.com.